Hello and welcome to Spellsberg. We have a new workshop video for you. My name is Stefan and this is Chris. Hello. At Spellsberg, we are naturally also active on an international level, which of course means that we also have to comply with different standards, such as the British standard, for example. And for this purpose, we'll also invite another specialist to join us. Welcome, Olaf. Hello, colleagues. Hello. Hello, viewers. British standard. Spellsberg naturally also produces a concrete installation solution in accordance to British standard. At this point, I'd like to briefly touch on the installation options we've envisaged with this. On the one hand, it is possible to insert the sockets into the prefabricated concrete, which means the construction components arrive on the construction site with integrated sockets in order to reduce on-site building times. For this purpose, we have the socket for the uni magnets on the one hand, which is positioned with the front part on the cast table. We naturally produce a single and double outlet version in accordance to British standard. We also offer a magnet with the front part already completely pre-filled. This means there's no need to remove the front part during the subsequent installation and more importantly during formwork stripping. Furthermore, we can carry out adhesion in the factory. We've also designed a solution for this. The adhesive is applied to the surface and the excess adhesive is then able to seep into this groove, a so-called cavity, and our box then also sits nice and flat on the formwork. The advantage of this, of course, is that we also have a nice clean front afterwards once the formwork has been stripped. Olaf, you have mentioned prefabrication, but this of course also applies to cast-in-place concrete installation, doesn't it? That's right. We have the option of fastening the magnetic variant for round magnets and the adhesive version on the rear to the wooden cast, using the additional nails designed for this. Unlike with the U71, where we have a reinforcement box for the opposite formwork, in this case, we need to revert back to our proven support spar technology, which of course works as well. To demonstrate the installation, we have produced a model, reinforcement cage with working formwork. In order to show how the installation takes place, we will remove the reinforcement cage and begin a demo installation in the area of the working formwork. Before we fit our socket, we of course need to create the holes for the conduit insertion. We naturally need to further expand the holes with an expansion mandrel. Do you know what kind of nails we use on the working formwork, by the way? They're made from aluminium. Any idea why that is? So that we don't leave any rust in the concrete. That's right. And let's use them now to nail our socket to the formwork. OK, we have now installed or mounted directly on the working formwork. But what about when we work with the opposing formwork? The so-called support spar technology has proven itself here, which we can also use in the British standard. This means we have a so-called blank base, which is installed on the working formwork, and using these support spars, which are fitted later, it's then possible to install the socket on the opposite side accordingly. I think we'll also take a look at how a base is installed, together with the support spars, so that we can also show this to our customers. Once everything is fastened to the working formwork, we can refit our reinforcement. The pipes are now installed on the working formwork side in the sockets and then securely tied to the reinforcement.
Now let's look at the opposing form work. We're working with support spars here. Support spar length plus one centimeter equal to wall thickness. We have 20 centimeter deep form work for a 20 centimeter wall, which means we need a 19 centimeter support spar because we have five millimeter clearance in our components, blank base and socket respectively. Before we fit our socket, we have to punch holes in it again. Once all installation steps on the working formwork are complete, the reinforcement is installed and everything else has been installed with the support spars, we can fit the opposing formwork. Good, the box is cast. Now we open the front to continue the installation. In order to install British standard devices now, it is essential to have the assembly bridges. Please remember to order these at the same time. Because the assembly bridges are height variable, it's also very simple to balance out any slight irregularities in the installation itself. The electrical installation is complete. Now we install the device. We hope you enjoyed this video and that we have been able to awake your interest and show you how good Spelsberg products are. We would also like to thank our expert Olaf. Thank you for joining us and for your support. You're welcome. And with that, it only leaves us to say, until next time. <laughs>